bunch of crunch army where you at what's going on guys this is not your ordinary guy now this is your motivation guy i was born to motivate you this is your friend the one and only keith allen so i hope you guys are having a fantastic day all right so there are a ton of pro players in fortnite who tend to go under the radar even guys like benji fishy scope and booga were pretty much completely unknown before they had their massive blow up performances or starting on social media and there's definitely still plenty of talent lurking in the shadows in fortnite and today so we're gonna be analyzing one of the most underrated pros in the world like right now now this player in particular is an eu pro who has been around for quite a while but has recently been exploding in skill and he's known as teak teak has been around since the earliest days of competitive even making it to the world cup finals in new york where he placed 43rd but really went under the radar for a while despite being one of the top players so in today's video we're going to be analyzing teak's gameplay from the dreamhack finals and figure out some things that he does to dominate at this level right so without further ado your crunch on me where you at it's time to sit back relax and grab some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch army and let's get this going All right, so for pretty much all of Teak's games, all right, he lands at Weeping Woods, usually at this back building right here. Now, the reason this is notable is because Weeping Woods is definitely like one of the most OP spots for competitive this season. He's usually only contested by a player or two. The loot is pretty good with five chests in his building alone. And there's a ton of other things like campfires, all right, fishing spots, as you can see, an upgrade bench, and easy rotation into rifts, which we'll be seeing him utilize. Real quick, if you guys want a fast and easy way to get better at Fortnite, you got to look no further than proguys.com we have some of the best coaches in the world that are ready to help you guys improve fast so head on over the link is in the description Alright, so in Teak's early game, he has a lot of land control where he drops. Since he lands south of his opponent, and nobody lands south of him, he has control of a massive section of Weeping Woods. So in your early game, try to develop your own zone, basically an area where you fully control. Pros do this thing all the time, man. And it's really like one of those things the average player won't be able to spot. If you can develop not only an area to land, but control a major section of your drop spot, you're going to be in a much better situation when it comes to looting up properly along with doing better in early game fights. So we can see in this game, Teak has control of a massive area, allowing him to max out on every type of material with ease and really just chill out for the majority of his early game. Since he has so much land control and he's able to farm up a ton, he also uses an upgrade bench to secure himself a purple pump. Unfortunately, Teak decides to take a fight in this game where he makes a few mistakes and lands himself in an unlucky spot. Him and Karyachi, another pro player, exchange some shots and Teak decides to disengage. Okay, so it's always good to disengage if you feel like there's little to no benefit in fighting since he's up against all pros pretty much but doesn't have a lot of HP and since the zone is starting to come in, it's a good option for Teak to just disengage here. But while he is disengaging, Teak ends up taking a snipe from the back. Now, one thing Teak could have done to hopefully avoid this is really just to simply build a bit more behind him especially since he knew that players were there and he was trying to get away always keep in mind my friends that it's better to live with less materials than to die with a lot of them but since Rizan, the player who sniped him is so far away, Teak is ultimately able to heal up and escape. So the main takeaway from this is to one, not be afraid to disengage from a bad fight, and two, to keep building behind you when you're disengaging, especially if you know players behind are gonna target you. And finally, my friends, like don't be afraid to use some hard materials to cover up when you're getting pushed. So another thing that's definitely notable in this game is Teak's rotation to a pretty far third zone. What Teak does here, and I mean like right here, is get out as early as possible. And on his rotation, you're gonna notice he hugs the right side so he can just get closer to the side of zone with less players. In stack games, it's so important to rotate as early as you can and just use natural terrain like Teak did here to cover yourself, right? Basically what Teak did by rotating along this mountain. This whole rotation was a really good example of a few key elements of long rotations like hugging natural terrain, possibly hugging an edge or the dead side and just simply rotating early. 
The fourth zone ends up pulling in Teak's direction and somehow the RNG Lords blessed him with fifth as well. However, even if these zones were somewhat far, we'd be seeing Teak utilizing all three of those tricks while rotating to stay safe. You may think he's alive because of RNG. No, no, no. The RNG here is just simply the cherry on top. Okay, so as a side note, my friends, like if you feel like you're struggling with your rotations and you keep making mistakes, be sure to check out one of our pro coaches at ProGuys.com who really can just help guide you through exactly what you need to do to rotate properly and competitive. And save some time with our brand new vibe review system where you can simply send in a replay and have a pro player analyze it. It's literally that easy. All right, let's get back into this. So with that said, we're gonna notice here in the sixth zone that throughout the rotation, Teak basically waits for other players to use their items and then makes the final push into zone on his own. He starts off by looking through his cone to spot anyone who looks like they're using a mobility item and ends up taking this bouncer, which was right in front of him. He does take some unlucky shots while he's in midair, but he's quick to heal up and he's almost in the sixth zone. This example wasn't perfectly executed since he did take damage while doing it, but it's obvious that the intention of reusing mobility was there. And since Teak carried so much healing into the end game, <laughs> these shots he took really didn't have much impact on the rest of his game. This is notable because especially in the fifth zone and sixth zones, guys, like players are blowing through their mobility items, right? So you can really get some free rotations by simply playing patient. All right, guys, so up next is one of the things Teak is best at, which is playing out in endgame. Okay, there are just under 25 players left and Teak is on full HP. However, his materials are pretty low, so getting a kill here is going to be a key thing to keep him going. He decides to make a storm play so he can just catch some players struggling to get in. And it pays off, man, and he just picks off a fray. And manages to drop down and grab a kill on another player who's in total shambles. And then he grabs yet another kill and then another one, man. This dude is on an absolute roll. Unfortunately, after a bit more play, Teak ultimately gets hit with the heart pump and ends up going down to the low ground player. This may seem like your typical lucky kill spree, but really, this wasn't just luck, guys. Like, take a note of how Teak specifically looked to the backside of zone and to low ground players to get his in-game kills. The majority of players, especially pros, are gonna be ahead of the zone if they're in a good situation. Teak knows this and specifically goes for players who are on the back end of zone or on low ground so he can just get picks on people who are already in shambles. This gets him four easy kills, man, and carries him into the top five, which isn't a half bad performance, especially against some of the best players in the entire world. Overall, man, while Teak didn't end up winning this particular game, he really displayed some insane talent here. And it was great going over some of the strategies that this insane player uses to dominate some of the world's best players. All right, so we quickly got to do a recap of what we discussed in this video. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. To start, Teak's landing spot, Weeping Woods, is a great example of a well-rounded spot with good materials, loot, and rotation, which makes his early games much more consistent. Speaking of early game, like another huge concept that Teak plays very well is land control. Controlling a large area of your drought spot off spawn not only helps you in fights, but it also helps you get better loot and potentially better rotation, and first calls on things like upgrade benches, slurp barrels, and things of that nature. When it comes to disengaging, always make sure you disengage when there's really no benefit fighting. Build a bit where you know you know players are, and just don't be afraid to use hard materials if you get pushed. On a far rotation, always ensure you're getting out of your early base, and just try to hug terrain, or even a specific side, usually the dead side, so you can get into zones safely. Teak showed this really well in his third zone rotation, which was done very, very well. Okay, so in the fifth and sixth zones, a lot of players are gonna be using their remaining mobility, so always keep your eyes out, just like Teak did in this game, for an extra mobility you might be able to reuse. Finally, when you need to get frags in endgame, yo, try to look specifically for players on the edge of zone or on low ground, just like Teak did, as those are usually the most vulnerable players and the safest kills you can get. Overall, I gotta say this, Teak is an absolute beast of a player, and it's been a blast to check out some of his games gameplay and just see how he does what he does all right so make sure to check out teak socials and just show him some love he's an amazing competitive player and i'm telling you right now you don't want to miss his future performances he just keeps getting better and better all right guys once again this is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen while you're at it make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it and let us know who you like to see us analyze next once again don't forget to check out proguys.com to find your coach and get your gameplay analyzed by a pro player who can help you find your weak spots in your gameplay and give you exactly what you need to take your game to the next level and uh bunch of crunch army keep eating that bunch of crunch <laughs> and let's get this going.